Welcome back. I just wanted to do a little oil pump tear down. I'm rebuilding the M20 in my E30. That'll be a 3.1 liter with a M54 B30 crank, 135 millimeter connecting rods and uh, CP pistons. And before I rebuild it, I need to inspect the oil pump. Uh, you can buy these still, but if you inspect it and everything checks out, there's really no reason to replace them. They're a very robust design. So let's kind of go over what it is and how it works. So this is a positive displacement uh, gear oil pump. And these are the gears. It's actually a, a fairly large oil pump. Um, they, they rate the capacity of these positive displacement pumps, usually on the, the width of the gear. Um, in the diameter, but mostly like, yeah, how, how wide the gears are because these columns, if you think of this as a column is, is how much oil these move per revolution, each of these columns. And I'll show you that here. Um, so this is the main housing. You can pull these apart and just wash them with solvent or even like Dawn dish soap is my favorite. Uh, just wash them out. I mean, it's an aluminum casing. You're not gonna hurt anything scrubbing it out and then just inspect. Um, you'll see in here, there's a little bit of a gouge, but uh, compared to um, what, how much oil this has pumped in its life, this is pretty minimal. Um, just a little piece got through right there and it. there's nothing sharp in here that I can even feel that would cause any problems with the pump uh, continuing to run. So you just look at it, make sure there aren't any major gouges or the pump gears haven't eaten away at the sides or gotten loose in here, but this one for having over 200,000 miles on it, it looks great. Um, this is the outlet to the pump. So the pump, when the two halves are together, um, it pulls in from the bottom here and then goes through the pump and comes out the top here. So let me show you kind of how that works and you can take a little gander. So first, there's a cam drive off of this guy right here. Uh, and this goes into the primary pump gear and turns it off of the cam. So the cam spins this gear. So we'll put that gear in first. And they just slide in. There's no rubber seals. That's what's great about oil pumps that live in the sump. Um, because it's just in the sump and it's contained, uh, they can pass a little bit of oil through this tiny opening in here and uh, there's, there's not going to be any problems. So these are just, um, yeah, they're just no seals. They're very easy to service. And this is another reason why you shouldn't be afraid to open one of these up. There's like not even seals to replace. You don't even have to buy anything to, to switch out. And so let me show you here. You can see um, if the light's right back in there, that's the hole for the outlet that goes up into the oil filter in the engine block. And if I spin this from the bottom, you can see right here, I'll just be spinning it. Oil is brought into this cavity right here. And then it is pushed around these cavities where the pump goes against the gear housing. And then it goes into this cavity and it's forced into that hole and out. And so uh, I've had some people ask if the, the oil goes through these gears, but these basically squish out the oil and kind of create a seal in here. So they don't go through the center, it goes through the outside of the pump. So you can think of the pump as in like two halves, like there's the inlet and the outlet. And as the pump goes around, there's a fixed amount of volume in each of these teeth of oil that gets pushed into there. And it can't really go backwards because the oil gets squished out between the gears when it comes back around. And this is the this is a positive displacement pump. So every revolution has a fixed amount of oil. As long as there's no cavitation or there's a supply feed, a constant supply on this side, the higher you rev the engine, the more uh, oil will flow through it, uh, like basically linearly in, in perfect conditions. But basically, that's uh, that's how they work. There's really nothing to go wrong um, other than debris getting in these and or if it runs out of oil and the, the shafts wear on the housing. So yeah, there's nothing majorly problematic that can go wrong. It's an aluminum housing, there's no seals. Uh, you just need to clean and inspect 
the other parts. This is uh, just two of them. You can just scrub these down, make sure that they, uh, they don't get any uh, flash rust or anything on them. Just wash them down, get them dried off real quick. And then same with this. This is the other side of the pump. And uh, as long as there's nothing majorly ruined, I mean, you can hardly even feel, there's not even a scratch that you can feel with your finger on these hardly. Um, just a little bit of uh, brushing up against that aluminum. So um, let's uh, throw it together real quick and I'll just kind of show you how this thing fits, fits together. So um, I think it just goes like that. And you can see down in there, there's the inlet where the gears are. I'm gonna pull it in and they just take some M6 bolts into here and here. Then you put this cover goes in here, the screen to protect from debris going into the pump. And then this has a little notch that matches the notch up here facing, facing down. And as soon as the notch is lined up, that's where another one of the holes goes through like that. There's four bolts and you need to get them torqued to specification but literally it's that easy. Just pull this guy apart and uh, there's three M8s that hold it into the cylinder or the block on the bottom. And then you don't forget your cam drive shaft and that's it. So uh, yeah don't be intimidated by pulling these apart. Pretty much all the old BMWs like M10, M20, M30, they use this style pump. It's not exactly the same, but within a variation of them. Um, and then when you put them back together, make sure that you lubricate everything. You put fresh oil and or assembly, uh, assembly grease in there. The biggest thing is these pumps, they can't produce, they're, they're very bad at producing suction without oil. Uh, they need oil between the gears and against the walls to start creating a vacuum to pull uh, some negative pressure and get the pump to suck up oil. So when you put these back together, make sure to lubricate everything. Lubricate the shafts that go together and then against the walls and then give the, you know, soak the teeth down in, um, in engine assembly grease. And then it's good practice if you can, when you put these back together, get the motor all built, fill it with oil, and then before you set your timing fully, uh, put a like a drill on the actual cam drive that turns this and spin over the pump until you get oil pressure, until you see oil go up to the top of the cylinder head. Um, other than that, yeah, happy motoring. Go ahead and uh, inspect your oil pumps and throw them back in your car. I'll let them do some more service. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.